In today's video, I'm going to show you how to design a custom WordPress website. Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan. I am so excited to jump into today's video. And if you guys have been here before, you know that I've talked about WordPress. I really love the platform. It's where I learned how to do websites. And I just feel that it's one of the best platforms for full customization and endless opportunities. But I haven't really shown you guys how to start a website from literally the ground up and how to get your hosting account, how to take that and then design the custom website. So I'm going to be showing you guys that today and I'm actually going to be using the platform called Cloudways. As you guys have seen before, I've talked a lot about SiteGround, but I really wanted to talk about the difference between that and a platform like Cloudways because they're definitely similar, but there is quite a few differences and I want to explain that to you now. So Cloudways specializes in the ease of use for cloud hosting services exclusively. Now SiteGround on the other hand, mainly focuses on managed WordPress hosting. Cloudways is specifically great for those who wanna build a high powered website. That is because you have so much growth that you can do with it and it isn't on a shared hosting server. So a lot of people have reported that their websites are typically faster. The biggest thing to keep in mind when it comes to choosing the hosting platform that your client or yourself should be on is the, the way that the hardware is built on the back end. So Cloudways is really built with the idea of scalability. They have built their platform for not only individual web designers or business owners, but also for corporations and really big companies. Now, one of the biggest reasons people like Cloudways is because it offers the same features on every single site hosting plan, no matter the pricing tier. The real differences lie in the amount of storage space you are purchasing, what kind of hosting company you need, and which cloud server you choose to host your site on. So with Cloudways, you're not paying for more or less features with all the tiers, you're just paying for more or less storage. So it's a really great platform for lots of reasons and I could go on and on about why it has so many great benefits, but I'm just gonna jump in to show you guys how to set up a website on Cloudways and how we're gonna build this WordPress website and design it from scratch. So let's head on over to my computer. To begin with Cloudways, you can set up a free account to try things out, which is awesome because you wanna make sure that you like the feel of the platform, all the settings, and I just love the fact that you can log in and see how everything looks. So once you create your account, you'll be taken to a page like this where you will see all of your servers, your apps, and everything here. We don't have anything set up yet. I'm gonna show you guys how to do that. So we are gonna go into the servers area here. We're gonna say launch now. And from here, we'll be able to select WordPress, we can select HP, um, WooCommerce, but WordPress is totally fine. We will use that version, that works perfect. And we can also name our applications. I'll name it Megan Design, MW Design, and we'll name this as well. We'll just name them all the same. Once you have the names in there, you can select your server. I'm gonna use DigitalOcean, which is Cloudways, and I just like it, I think it works great, but if you want to choose a different server, you totally can do that, which is a great, this is like one of the reasons Cloudways is so powerful, because you're able to choose a server that will serve you best, <laughs> no pun intended, but it's really awesome to have some options. And then right below here, you can also select your server size. So whether you wanted it to be huge, if you have lots of traffic to your site, maybe you have like a giant launch with your shop and you're gonna have so many people checking out, you might wanna increase your server size or maybe you have a lot of products, then that would typically require a bit more of a server size. But I'm gonna leave it around two gigabytes, that's totally fine. And also you can choose your location. So if you have a bunch of clients that maybe you're going to be going to your site in New York or even Toronto, then you can change the, the location for the best performance in that area. I am going to leave it as San Francisco since that's the closest to me. And once we have all those settings set up, we are going to select launch now. As you can see, it can either charge you hourly or monthly. It all depends on your server size. So the more you increase it, the more you will pay. Um, but you're also paying for performance. So if you're working with clients, then this is something to, to keep in mind that there is options to make it easier and doable for them. So let's select launch now. 
and once we select that it will just add that server for us so now our server is installed but before i move forward i want to go over to the application area so i'm going to go to view all add-ons and we will be able to see all the things you can add to make your website even more awesome so i'm going to select astra pro and as you can see it's four dollars per month for unlimited websites unlimited websites that's not too bad but it is pretty cool that they have the option to add this on and i'll show you why it's so cool so i'm going to select subscribe and once that's installed we'll be able to add the application to our server so now let's go back home go to view all servers and we'll select these three dots right here and say add application. Then we're going to want to make sure we add Astra Pro. We can name the application name. I'm just going to keep it Astra so we don't get confused. And we're going to add it to our project. So let's say add application. Perfect. So it's going to take a few minutes to install. Okay, once your Astra Pro is installed and you have the application within your server, you can then go and click right here and select Astra. I accidentally did too but we're just going to select the one named astra so it's super easy to remember so once you do that you'll be clicked into this area where you can see the admin panel application url all the things you need to know so i would then select the admin panel and log in with your credentials that will be listed right here once you log in you will then be taken to this page which is the astra pro web builder and from here we can do an AI website builder or we can start with some other templates. So all depends on what you're looking for. I want to show you guys what some of these templates look like. Um, also, you can select a page builder that you want to use with this. So this is why I wanted to mention that you can use Elementor, you can use Divi, all those popular page builders with Astra Pro. So it just makes it really awesome. I'm going to click on Elementor and then we'll be taken to this area where we can select a template. So as you guys know from my previous videos, I design most of my websites custom. I like to design on Figma, take my Figma design and then build it out custom. Like I like to make unique sections. I like to make the website kind of flow in a unique way so it's not super cool cookie cutter however there's awesome ways to like start with a like a header and a footer and these templates allow you to do that so let's say i'm just kind of looking around here i want you guys to also see the amount of options that they have it's really really great they have even shop options all types of things so if i go back up here we can even search based on kind of exactly what we're looking for let's just say graphic designer graphic design maybe portfolio um, or let's do web designer and see what it can come up with for this. This one looks kind of cool. So I'm going to click on that and we'll be able to upload our site logo. So I'm going to do that here. Okay. So I uploaded the logo and then you can also choose a font. We can always change the font later on, um, by uploading a custom one and I can show you all how to do that if you want to see it, but we can just select one for the meantime here and just a color palette that we want to use for the meantime. Then let's select continue. And then from here, we can select the different features. There's the page builders checked off, which is great. Um, that way we can do a visual building effect, which is basically editing the site on the front end. So you don't have to do any coding. You could see exactly what you're doing in real time. And let's actually select sales funnels, automations, integrations. We'll do all these and continue. All right, and then let's go and build the website. So it's going to install the theme, the plugins, all the things we need to finish building this custom website out. Okay, so it was really fast, maybe only took one minute total. So once it's done, I'm going to go to visit your website. This will take you to the front end page to take a look at how everything is laid out. Or you can go to visit dashboard, which will take you to your WordPress dashboard, which is the main area where we're going to go to edit everything. So I don't need to install Divi because we selected Elementor, but you can always upload the Divi Builder if you prefer that for the front end visual building. I love Divi and it's, some, it's a builder I probably would have uploaded if I didn't select this, but just this, this is perfect for now and I just want to show you how this option can work as well. So if I head over to pages, we will see that the home page was built with Astra. So if I go to view, we will then be able to click edit with Elementor and change anything that is on the page. So this is just amazing. It's like two in one where you get an already built out page with a visual builder with 
so many amazing features and settings that you can select from the very beginning. So it just helps you set up your WordPress for success. If you ever want to edit your colors or fonts, you can also go to customize up top here. We're going to go to global typography and then in here we can select the different fonts. So for the base font, I usually use, I'm going to base it off my personal brand and I use overpass and for the heading font, I typically use a serif font. So let's do Libre Baskerville if they have that. That is perfect. And then you can select your H1, H2, H3, H4 from here and it just makes it super easy to do that. But I'm going to go back and let's edit some of the colors because this is definitely not my color palette. My color palette is, as an example, very reds and browns and neutrals with pops of color. So I want to add all these colors in, which I'm going to do right now. Okay, uploaded all my colors here. There's a few extra ones. So I'm just going to select black and white for all of those, just so we don't get confused with them. But I have all my colors in there. And then from here, we can select all the different theme colors. So we can edit the accent color, which I usually like the red as the accent color. For links, I'm gonna do yellow. For the body text, I'm always gonna do brown. For the borders, we'll also do brown. And then the background of my site is typically always this eggshell color. One of the most awesome things about Astro Pro is that it comes with a style guide. So for all of us graphic designers, we know how awesome that is. And you can access that by going to your customized settings and selecting style guide. Inside the style guide, we can see what colors are assigned to what options, the typography, how our buttons look. This makes it so easy for consistency across your entire website. So when it comes to handing off your website to clients, they don't have to worry about designing a button every single time they make a new section. So I love this. I think this is awesome. We can even change the secondary button so it's a bit, a bit different from the primary button and we can change the text color and even the border color. Perfect. You can also change your favicon in here which makes it so easy and we can also change the title of our website so Megan Weeks Design and we can also design the header. So it already has the site title and logo in here as well as the primary menu um, so that's already pretty much set up for us. I'm just gonna go into the design area and we're gonna change the background to the colors that we typically like to see. We can also increase the padding if we want this to maybe be a little bit taller, we could do that. I'm gonna just do it top and bottom and that looks perfect. It also makes it super easy in Astro Pro to work on your footer. So if I go back here to the main menu, we can go to footer builder. And then in here, we can go to design, change the background color of our footer, and we can start to add different elements in here to build the whole thing out. So I'm gonna go to publish so that we can go to the site and see how the header and footer is looking. Um, but as you can see, they have the header builder, footer builder in here. And I just think that the Astra customized options are one of the most user-friendly options I have used. If for whatever reason you selected the wrong template and you're having trouble edit it, you can always go back to change the template. You just go to appearance, starter templates, and from here you can select the one that you really want to work with. So I'm gonna redo it. I didn't really like that pink background. I'm more of a simple, minimal person. So I'm gonna do something more like this. And then you can also select keep existing data so you don't lose any of your images. Unfortunately, when you do go to change your template, it will change all of the style guide as well. So keep that in mind before you make any changes um, because it's important that you pick the right template from the start or even just start from a blank page. So I'm gonna quickly change those colors back to what they were, make sure we have all the fonts set properly, and I'll just show you guys a few more things that I love with Astro Pro. You can turn that on and off to make things super accessible without having to do any extra work. So I love that, but I did change all of the colors back to what they needed to be. I'm gonna go show you guys a really cool thing within Astro Pro when it comes to building custom pages. So if we go down here to pages, I'll be able to add a new page. It came with all these ones, but I'm gonna add a new one just to show you guys how awesome this is. Once you add a new page, I would recommend selecting Design Library because they have some great options inside of here. They've already pre-built sections and areas that you can automatically add to your website. So you can choose from here. There's contact forms, different things like that. You can also do different color styles here which is so cool. So I think we can put a about section, maybe something like this. And then you just insert it into the page 
and add your text directly in here. If you want to edit on the front end with the visual builder, all you have to do is go to edit with Elementor and it'll take you to the front end where you can see what you're doing in real time. So once you're in here, you can select that section and edit the text right in here. And it's super easy. I am so excited to show you guys this because I know WordPress can be definitely a little bit intimidating, but with options like these, it makes it so easy to design your own site. If we wanted to remove the sidebar, then we can just go save draft and go back to the edit page settings and remove it from there. So I'm going to do that real quick. So if you select the Elementor fold width instead of default template, it'll remove that sidebar for you. You can add your page title, you can continue to edit with the Elementor, or you can click back to WordPress editor. Whatever you need to do to make you feel comfortable with designing the page, there is an option within Astra within Cloudways, within all of this. So I think it's so awesome. It's one of the reasons I love WordPress is because there's a solution for everything. If a client comes to you and asks for something, most likely can be done on WordPress. So here is what that page looks like using that custom built section and it looks awesome. So I highly recommend checking this out, you guys, if you are struggling with designing your own sites or you want a really easy way to have global settings, then this is a tool you are gonna absolutely love. All right, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope it was helpful to see me design a website from scratch, from literally the ground up of picking your hosting account and why Cloudways is such a great option for not only you, but your clients and really gonna help those clients that want to scale their website to really awesome levels. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, I would appreciate it so much if you gave this video a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel below, and be sure to check out Cloudways. I will leave the link right down below, and I will talk to you guys all really soon.